Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another new makeup releases video slash will I buy it kind of video. I have been doing these kinds of videos for about a month and a half now. I do have a playlist on my channel down below if you guys want to watch that or binge on it. I will have the playlist link down below in the description box as always. This video was inspired by two YouTubers that I always watch and always follow and I think they're so amazing. Samantha March and Andrea Mitaliano. You guys should check out their channel. They always post the best videos and they were the ones who inspired me to do the new makeup release video slash will I buy kind of video. So I always have those channels linked down below in the description box as well as the very latest will I buy it videos in the description box as well. So if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rama. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to sit down and watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys have not done so already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you guys are always notified whenever I upload a new video here on my channel. If you guys want to hear all about the latest new makeup releases, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I just moved to the side. So whenever I talk about a new makeup release product or a new makeup release, I will always have the picture inserted right here. The photos and information that I will be sharing with you guys are credits to Trend Mood 1. I will always have her Instagram handle down below in the description box as well. So these are the new makeup releases so far for towards the end of March rolling into the beginning week or two weeks of April. So there's a couple of products that I wanted to share with you guys. A lot of exciting new makeup releases as always. If you guys are new to my channel, I always try to upload a Will I Buy It video every two weeks basically. And I always have the video either uploaded on my channel either on a Monday or on a Friday depending on what day of the week I film it. So this video will be up tomorrow which is Friday. So today is, I don't even know what today is. Today is the 28th which is a Thursday so it should be up tomorrow which is on March 29th. Also note sometimes some of these products don't have a date or a price in the information so um, usually when I edit the video I always run into the prices or the dates or whatever. I say there's a coming soon or there's no date or no price. I will have the uh, date and prices listed down below and also if they do have a coming soon and there's no date available I usually touch up on it in my next will I buy it or new makeup releases video. So with that being said let's just go ahead and get started. I did start this segment of the video or the series and this is called the announcement. Some, sometimes there are just announcements and not really like a specific new makeup release product or a specific new makeup release so you get what I mean. Basically an announcement from a brand or a company or something. So there's only one announcement to share with you guys and this is actually so exciting and I think a lot of people have been waiting for this announcement for quite a while now and for very for the very longest time Jaclyn Hill has been hinting to her subscribers and her viewers and her fans and anybody else who follows her about this. So Trendwood One had said that it's coming look like Jaclyn Hill is about to launch her own brand very soon. She filed the trademark hashtag Jacqueline Cosmetic. She also had a photo shoot for something special and she did mention before that she that the first product will be a lipstick. So it just said coming soon and it says it will be um Trend Mood One will keep us all posted. So I have been a follower and a fan and a subscriber of Jacqueline Hair for so long now and I think she was probably one of my first YouTubers that I've watched here on YouTube and I admire her so much and I think her ability and her talent and her vision for everything is so beautiful and so just so amazing and I truly admire her so for her to finally come out with her cosmetic line and for her you know be able to launch her own cosmetic line very soon is very much an achievement for her because I know that she has been working on this for so long and she has been dreaming about this for so long. I don't know her personally but I do follow her and I am subscribed to her channel. I'm very pr proud of her so I'm excited to see what this new makeup line makeup line is I can't talk today. Yeah I'm excited for it so I cannot wait to find out more about this product. As always I will always keep you guys posted on everything that I tell you guys in this video. Okay so now that we have gotten over the announcement we're gonna now move on to the product that I'm going to be either passing along or thinking about. So I always start with the announcement and then I go to the product I'm gonna be passing over or thinking about and then I end the video with the product that I going to be on my wish list or the product that I'm you know looking forward to buying so we're gonna start off with the product that I'm either passing over or the product that I'm 
thinking about. Okay, so the first product is from Pat McGrath and she is coming out with eyeshadows and they're called Idols. E Y E and then the word Idols. It said this is a smooth pigment, tempting textures and sublimely saturated to transcend the spectrum. Teased in tempt to intentionalizing textures, cross polymorphic mats that deliver an ultra soft focus effect. Gel powder metallic that exude velvety smooth iridescent and high impact pearlescent shimmer that lavish eyes in lustrous multi-dimensional color. Some shades are from the eyeshadow palette and some are new. There's going to be 17 shades available. One is missing in the pan, uh, in the pan pick and the list um, and it's going to be um, in a matte metallic shimmer and it's going to retail for $25 each. This is going to be available Actually, it's available now. It came out March 28th on the Sephora website. It doesn't say if it's going to be available on the Pat McGrath website, but it just says March 20th on the Sephora website. So, even though the swatches look beautiful, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about this. $25 for a an eyeshadow pan. For one eyeshadow, a single eyeshadow pan, it's kind of pricey. But, you know, this is Pat McGrath and I have heard so many great things about her formula. So I may put some of these on my wish, or not my wish list, my thinking about list. The swatches are really, really beautiful that I will tell you guys. Honestly, I'm leaning towards more to the bronzy, rose gold, gold, orangey shades. And most of the shades that I just mentioned are really shimmers and metallics. Looks like so. The matte. However, it looks beautiful and pigmented, so I may think about that. The very last one on the swatch photo in the bottom, it looks beautiful. It looks more of like a champagne gold shade or champagne rose gold shade. So that's beautiful. I think I may want to try that out. But overall, I think the shades are beautiful. I think the formula looks amazing. The swatches look beautiful. Pan sizes look decent for a single pan. So $25 again for a single eyeshadow pan is a little pricey, but then again, and it is Pat McGrath so. Okay, next up is from Stila Cosmetics and they're coming out with a big eyeshadow palette. So it says it will include 12 shades and this will retail for $52 each and it is going to be limited edition. The eyeshadow palettes are Happy Hour Eyeshadow Palette and then the After Hour Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, so there's two eyeshadow palettes. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and pass over this product. The packaging looks beautiful but these are just not really the shade that I would gravitate for and $52 for an eyeshadow palette is a little bit pricey for me so uh, I'm going to pass over this product. I will say though that the product or the packaging looks beautiful. I like the gold packaging and stuff but the shade range is not really my type of shade that I would go for so I would pass on this product. Okay, next up is from Kat Von D and she is coming out with the a new mascara. So this is called the Go Big or Go Home Mascara. So this is an ultra black vegan mascara made with rich plant-based fats and this is going to retail for $23. It's going to be available on the Sephora Canada, Sephora Australia, the Middle East and I don't know what ASG is on April 15th and then it is available now on the Sephora, Russia and all that stuff. I'll have all the dates listed down below in the description box. But for the US, it's going to be available on the April, April 19th online on the Camp on D website and the Sephora website and for Canada, April 15th. I will be putting this on my thinking about list. $22 for a mascara is not that bad because I think the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara is around that price range. I've never really tried any mascara formulas from Kat Von D. I don't really know how the formula is going to be, but looking at the photo that Trend Mood One provided, the lashes on this photo on this model looks beautiful and stunning. It looked like the mascara gave her lashes a little bit of a volume and a lot of a length, so that's pretty nice. And I like the packaging of the mascara as well. So I'm gonna be putting this on my thinking about list and we'll keep you guys posted. Okay, next up is from Fenty Beauty and she's coming out with the Body Lava. So for a dewy high shine finish, a body luminizer and it's going to have three shades, brown sugar, who needs clothes, and trophy wife. So this is inspired by the iconic shimmering gold kilowatt. So it's, just, it's available now on the Fenty Beauty website and the Sephora 
website. So right off the bat, I will tell you guys that I'm going to pass on this product because I just don't use these kinds of body bronzer kinds of stuff. Uh, but for those of you guys who are interested in this product, I will tell you guys that it is, looks beautiful and all that. The swatches look amazing and it looks beautiful on all skin tones. And they also look beautiful when they applied it on all the models in different types of skin tones. So I will definitely recommend it if you guys love these kinds of stuff for the body. And I think this would look beautiful during the summertime. But as for me personally, I'm going to pass over this product. Okay, next up is from Melt Cosmetics. So I did touch up on this in my last Will I Buy It video. Um, I'll have that video listed in the description box as well as on the card over here. But I did touch up on one shade in my last Will I Buy It video. But this time they gave us all four shades I believe. So again Melt Cosmetics is coming out with a new um, stack. The eyeshadow stack. So they're not well known for the eyeshadow stack. The, the little circular stack together so this is called the melt shape shift so it's gonna come in four shades the first one is called shape shift which is a deep terracotta evolved into an elemental bright shade chameleon which is a changeable emerald with a distinctive blue and lime green glitter flex mimic which is a steel blue that imitates the full moon fading into a celestial amethyst and delirium which is an intense mauve with a rapturous pink shift. So this is going to be available today, March 29th, on the Melt Cosmetic website. Don't remember if there was a, there's no price right now on the information that I'm looking at right now, but you guys know I will have the price listed down in the description box. I am gonna go ahead and pass over these products. I will say though that they look beautiful, the swatches look beautiful, and they look really, really promising. I've never tried anything from Melt Cosmetics, I don't think, um, but I've had a lot of great, great things about the formula of the eyeshadow stacks. They seem pretty unique, and I like that there is a shift on all of these eyeshadow shades. But as for me, I don't really see myself reaching out for these as much as I would want to. And again, I don't know the price range, but I'm going to pass over this product. But if you guys end up purchasing any of these products, or any of the products that I mentioned in this video that is in my past over anything at all, then let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, next up is from Kat Von D again. So she's coming out with a couple of new things. Um, she's coming out with a mini everlasting liquid lipstick, which is going to be $11 each. And it's gonna come in two different shades. She's also coming out with the Crush on Blush and High, which is a highlighter and blush duo, which is gonna retail for twenty-two dollars. And this is supposed to be a metal Crush Extreme highlighter in Gamma Ray, which is a metallic peach with gold shimmer and everlasting blush in Nova, which is a dusty rose. And then she's also coming out with the Studded Kiss Cream Duo Vampire Ombre. She's going to retail for $18 and it says it's a mini lipstick in Vampire which is a deep reddish burgundy and white out mixer pure white for mixing and customizing shades. These products seem very interesting. I like the white out shade although I don't think I'm going to go for that. I might put the mini everlasting liquid lipstick on my wish list just because I like the formula of it. I own one of them. I received them in a box of charm. Um, I forgot what shade it was but I've heard a lot of good things about the formula and I actually love the formula of the everlasting lipstick good lipstick and the Milago and Ruthless seems very beautiful. I would probably gravitate towards the Milago because I'm more into the peachy muted peach and it looks beautiful on the swatches. As for the highlighter and blush duo, I, I don't know, I may put that on my thinking about list but the other one with the white out and all that, I'll pass over that. And I may think about the other shade for the liquid lipstick. But other than that, the only thing I'm going to pass over is the vampire shade and the white out shade. Because even though it does seem intriguing and very unique, it um, doesn't really interest me. So, But I will be definitely putting the Milagro on my wish list because it does look beautiful and I like these kinds of shades. Okay, next up on my pass over thinking about list is from Artist Couture and he's coming out with the Diamond Glow Powder shade. This is going to be available in two different shades. Yeah, two different shades. Summer Haze, which is a light champagne pink base with a multicolored pearls. So you're going to retail for $28. And Purple Dream, which is a neutral peachy slash gold base with magenta and purple pearls, which is going to retail for $27. Very interesting that one is cheaper than the other by a dollar more. He's also coming out with the 
clear holographic makeup bag which is going to retail for $12. This is going to be available online on the Audi Couture website on April 1st. I've actually tried the Audi Couture Diamond Powder Highlighters. Um, I think I own, I forgot what shade it was, but I own one of them because I did receive them in a boxy charm. The one shade that is calling my, la my name is the Summer Haze, which is the light champagne pink base with a multicolored pearls. That looks really, really beautiful. I will pass on pass over the makeup bag because I don't need enough any makeup bag in my life right now but for the summer haze I think it looks really beautiful so I may put that on my wish list the purple dream of I'm kind of on the fence about it so I'll put that on my thinking about list but the only thing I'm gonna pass over is the makeup bag okay next up is from Estee Lauder and they're coming out with the bronze goddess collection and this is just a sneak peek and it says coming soon so it says it's going to include some new beautiful face powders and more. So there is no date for this one, but as always, I'll keep you guys posted on this. Right off the bat, I think the packaging looks beautiful and the bronzer shade looks stunning, especially the one in the bottom. So that looks beautiful and I don't, I think that's an eyeshadow pan, I would say. That looks very interesting as well. I'll put all, everything on my thing about it, but this looks beautiful and the packaging looks amazing as well. Okay, next up is from YSL Beauty and they're coming out with a new summer collection. So this says it will include a new eyeshadow palette, a bronzer, and a polish, and lip product. And it also says coming soon and it says bring in some new greens and orange reds. Again, there's no date for the product. I am very much aware that the YSL products are very, very pricey. They're just one of those bougie kinds of makeup brands. I will say, however, that the bronzer shade looks Stunning. I will give you guys that much. The nail polish I'm probably gonna pass over because especially the green one, the, the orangey one looks beautiful. I think that's going to be a perfect summer shade but I don't think I would spend that much money on a nail polish. I think you can definitely find a dupe for a color for these kinds of colors in a drugstore anywhere. But the bronzers look beautiful and so do the lip shades. I'll definitely put those on my thinking about list but I will definitely pass over the nail polish shade. Once I know the dates and all that and if I find out the dates and stuff and prices before my next makeup release video I'll keep you guys posted and I'll touch base with you guys on that in my next new makeup release video. Okay next up is from BH Cosmetics and this is another product that I touch base on a little bit in my last new makeup release video. So this is the collab with It's My Way Way. When I talked about it in my last makeup new makeup release video I did not show you guys a photo of the actual palette because there wasn't a photo to share. I just show a photo of it my way way with the whole makeup on her eyes and all that and it looked stunning. So right now there is a new, uh, photo for this. So this is available now. It did come out on March 27th and it's available on the BH Cosmetic website. Again this palette is going to retail for 17 50. And also this is going to have matte and jewel tone shimmers. Okay. The packaging I will give you guys. It looks beautiful. I like that it has a clear cover so you guys can see what the eyeshadow pants look like. I think I'll pass over this eyeshadow palette because I don't really play around with a lot of colorful eyeshadow shades to be honest with you guys. I like them doing a look for my main channel but for an everyday kind of wear or like you know just in general I don't really gravitate towards colorful eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow pants in general. I do have one eyeshadow palette that is very colorful and that's the Laura Lee palette um, that we received in the box charm. And it's basically all the colorful eyeshadow palette that I really need in my collection. However, this looks beautiful. So if you guys are into colorful eyeshadow palette or want to try formula from BH Cosmetics, I would highly recommend it because it is super affordable and the palette looks beautiful. But personally for me, I will pass over this eyeshadow palette. Okay, next up is from Tom Ford. He is coming out with the Soleil collection. And there's a couple of things in this collection. So there's going to be a lip color shade in four different shades. And this is all going to retail for $55 each. It's also coming out with the aqua metal eyeshadows in three shades, which is going to retail for $46. In the collection, it will also have the lip blush with 24 karat gold. It says it's a pink tint that turns darker with body temperature and has a nourishing formula for your lips. Very interesting. And that's going to retail for $55. The other things in the collection is a lip jelly with tint in the middle. 
and four shades retail for $55. Two Soleil Glow Bronzes which will retail for $70. One more cool tone and the other more warm tone. The other one is a Sheer Cheek Duo in Lissom which is a blush duo which is going to retail for $82. $82. And then it's also coming out with the Cushion, Cushion Compact Cushion Compact Foundation that has an SPF of 40 which is going to retail, uh, which is going to have four natural finishes and four luminous, not available yet. It's also going to come out with a 24 karat nail topper, no price on that one. And the last thing in the collection is the Soleil Lash Ray Mascara, which will retail for $46. And there's no date on this, it just says coming soon. Okay, right off the bat, I'm going to be passing over all of these products because they're so expensive. But I will tell you guys that they look beautiful, the packaging looks stunning. I wish I had all that money to splurge on. I really like the... Okay, so these are the Aqua Melt eyeshadows, okay. So I'm really intrigued by the shade of the, the Aqua Melt eyeshadow in the shade Violet Argent. It's more like a rose gold shade and it looks beautiful. So I forgot how much they retail for. Four. Okay, that retails for $46. Um, it's not really that bad. I don't know if I would spend $46 on one eyeshadow like that from Tom Ford, but again, it is Tom Ford, but it does look beautiful. But overall, I'm gonna pass over the collection because it's so pricey. It's not really my budget to spend that much money on makeup. But if you guys are into luxurious brands like Tom Ford, I've never heard a lot of great things about this. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys end up purchasing any of these products from this collection. The last thing that's on the passing over slash thinking about list is from Becca Cosmetic and she's coming out with the also she's extending her skin love line. So there's going to be two new items. One is the Glow Shield Prime and Set Mint which will get retail for $32 and the other one is the Brighten and Blur Primer which will retail for $39. There's no date on this, so it's just that coming soon. Okay, so I am interested in these products. I'm just going to put this on my thinking about list. The prices for these products do not seem that bad, but I don't really know what it's about, so that's why I'm only going to put this on my thinking about list. But I am interested in this. Um, I, there's not really much information on what it is about. Another reason why I'm putting this on my thinking about list, but I'll keep you guys posted on the dates as well. Okay, guys, so now that we got done with the project and I'm going to be passing over or I'm thinking about, uh, we can now move on to the products that are going to be on my wish list or the product that I am thinking about buying. Okay, so the first up is from Huda Beauty and she is doing another collaboration with another female. I did touch up on this. I think she did a collaboration, a last collaboration with some girl named Jacqueline. I touched up on that a couple of new makeup release videos ago. Girl new makeup release video ago. Cannot talk today. I touched up on that on a couple of new makeup release video ago. I didn't end up purchasing that uh, lashes. I am still thinking about buying that um, but I haven't really looked at it like in person so I want to see how it is but it does look, it does look beautiful. But this one is a collaboration with Huda Beauty and Olivia Copo. Okay, so this is the Olivia Lashes Short Shorty. For more natural looks, it's the shorter version of the Samantha Lashes. It's going to retail for $19. Okay, so I've heard a lot of good things about the Samantha Lashes. First of all, Olivia Copo is a public figure and she is the co-owner of the back for Ori. Really don't, I'm not really familiar with her. Um, I'm guessing she is a, she's a good cook and she... It's from Rhode Island, she's a middle child of five. So my thoughts on these lashes are really beautiful. I really love how it looks like. Um, I'm probably going to be, definitely going to be putting this on my wish list because it looks beautiful and I may end up buying this. I always wanted to try lashes from Huda Beauty. This might be the one that I'm going to be trying out. I've heard a lot of good things about Huda Beauty lashes and this looks stunning and $19 for lashes is a little pricey but it's from Huda Beauty. It looks beautiful so I'm excited to see what it looks like in person. It is available now I believe online. Okay so it, it is available now online. I'm not quite sure if it's available on the Sephora stores. Um, I'll let you guys know but the lashes look stunning. Okay next up is from Morphe and they're coming out with lip trios and it's called Out and a Pout. So this says these trios of fan fave lipstick were curated by their director of global artistry, Lip Technique, to create the perfect nude lip. So there are three sets, 
each one includes a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a lip pencil. And these are all going to be up for $16 each, and it's a $21 value. So the first one is called Blushing Nude. This is a cream lipstick in Flirt, which is a blushing nude in cream finish. Lip gloss in Boho, which is a dusty pink. And color pencil in Love Bite, which is a reddish beige. The second set is called Nude Pink. It will have a matte lipstick in Wifey, which is a nude pink in matte finish. Lip gloss in Pop, which is a peach pink and a color pencil in Backseat Love which is a rose beige. Now the last set is called Caramel Nude. Um, it's going to have the matte lipstick in Boo which is a caramel nude in matte finish. Lip gloss in Chilly or no Chill which is a tawny nude and a color pencil in Trendsetter which is a dark chocolate. So um, I believe it is available now on the Morphe website. I think this is such a great deal. $16 for three lip products from Morphe is such a great deal. I'm really gravitating towards the blushing nude and the nude pink. I think those shades are really my kind of shade. So I may end up picking up one of them, if not both. I'll put one of them on my wish list and one of my in my to buy list. I don't really know which one yet, but they look really beautiful. I'm not really that interested in the caramel nude. I think that just going to be a little too dark for my taste. I wear lip dark, dark brown lipstick sometimes, but not really all the time. I'm more really into the nude peach, nude pink kind of shade. So they do look beautiful. This watch just looks amazing and it does look beautiful on each of the models. So I will definitely be putting those two on my wish list slash to buy list. Next up is an exciting collaboration with JLo and Avod slash Alex Rodriguez from the New York Yankees. So they're collaborating with Kia Australia and they're coming out with a bunch of new beautiful shades. This is the Kia Australia X JLo X Arod. So it's a year-long partnership which includes new designs for men and women. So the key slash J or Kia JLo will include the following. So it's all in which is a versatile aviator featuring a luxe metal and PC injection frame in black and clear which is going to retail for $60 and then they're going to have the Empire which is an aviator inspired shield featuring a frameless look with a subtle PC injection brow bar and contrasting metal temples in black and pink purples which will retail for $60 and then they're also going to have the Get Right also retail for $60 El Dinero also retail for, retail for $60, Reina also retailing for $60, and La Player, which is also going to retail for $60. So the men include five men style boasting features such as polarized lenses from $50 to $60. Okay, first of all, I think this collaboration is so exciting. I love JLo, I love Arod. Arod is probably one of my New York Yankees, uh, my favorite New York Yankees baseball player of all time, um, includes Jeter, Knobloch, I'm from New York so I'm a New York Yankee girl. But I think the shade looks stunning. I actually really love the shade that JLo is wearing on this, this picture over here when she's on all black and stuff. I think that's so so pretty. I may put one of them on my wish list um, because I always wanted to try Kia Australia uh, shade. I did order a FabFitFun box for the spring and one of them is a key australia shade so i'm excited to get that and see how it is if i end up liking it i'll probably ask for one of these shades for my birthday because i love shades shades is probably one of my favorite accessories ever so i'm excited to see how i feel about the key australia that i'm going to be receiving from my that bit fun. Stay tuned by the way, I'm going to be doing an unboxing once I receive it. But once I know how I feel about the Kia Australia shade from that Fat Fit Fun box, I'll probably put one of these on my wish list or to buy list. Okay, next up is actually out. So this is a collaboration with Colourpop and Disney. So they did come out with the Princess Collection last summer, I believe. So they're doing a part two. So this is the Villain Collection and there's a whole bunch of products in this collection. I'm not going to go to all of them. Um, I will have everything listed down in the description box but there is a whole bunch of stuff in this collection. The collection will have like a specific dedication to um, each villain so the villains will include there's going to have six villains Ursula, Evil Queen, Dr. Fatula, Hades, Maleficent, Cruella oh, and Cruella. Okay so um, and each of them will have the following which will have six flux lipstick, six super shock highlighters, six jelly much eyeshadows, six ultra glossy lip, um, what else, a mis misunderstood eyeshadow palette, actually that's like for the whole collection itself, that's going to retail for $22, the 
eyeshadow palette to glittery obsessed I don't know what that is okay if you guys want the whole thing it will be tough for $200 because I'm obviously going to pass over the whole PR box if I should say it's a PR box I know that I've seen Kathleen like do a review on all of these products and I fell in love with pretty much most of the Lux Liquid Lux, Lux Lipstick formula, the shades and I'm actually liking the eyeshadow palette. I think the eyeshadow palette looks beautiful so I think I'm going to be putting that on my wish list. I think the shades in the eyeshadow palette look stunning. Very unique shades, very colorful. It has includes like more unique shades and you know it has warm tones, neutral tones and more smoky tones. The ultra glossy lips look beautiful as well. I love the swatches. I'm leaning more towards more on the nude side obviously. I don't really know about the jelly much shadows because I don't really know how it would work with that. I'm probably going to put those on my thinking about list. The Lux lipstick, that one it looks beautiful. I absolutely love the shade Hades. I think it's such a beautiful nude shade as well as Dr. Facilier. I don't really know what movie he's from. And the Maleficent shade looks stunning as well. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Evil Queen. Evil Queen looks stunning as well. So those first three shades I am deeply in love with. So I will probably put those on my wish list and probably end up buying one of them because I love these shades. They look so stunning. The highlighter, I'm not quite sure if I'll... I'll probably put the highlighter shades on my thinking about list um, because I'm not really quite sure about how I would like them on my skin tone. But for sure, the product that I'm definitely going to be putting on my wish list are the three shades that I mentioned for the Lux Lipstick shade and the eyeshadow palette. So I'll keep you guys posted on whether or not I end up buying any of them. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in any of these products or if you ended up buying any of these products in this collection. This collection, by the way, is already available on the Colourpop website and I do believe they are available as well on the Oto website. Okay, next up is from Too Faced. So it said that Too Faced is coming out with 15 new Born This Way concealer shades. So this concealer is a super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer. They will have a total of 35 shades. About the concealer is a contour highlight and mask uh, It's supposed to mask imperfect imperfection. It's hydrating. It's a four-in-one full coverage buildable multitasking concealer that smooths and sculpts skin for natural looking coverage. It's oil-free, long wear, $29 each, and it's going to ha be about zero, like half an ounce. Um, in the bottle. I have never tried the Born This Way Concealer, this new one, but I have heard so many great things about this. I've always wanted to try it. I love the fact that they're coming out with 15 new shades and the shade range is amazing. So I think I'm going to be putting that on my wish list. I don't know yet what shade I am in, um, but I'll definitely put this on my wish list because I'm interested in trying out the formula and how it's going to be. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention to you guys that the 15 new shades will be available in May. There's no date yet, so I'll touch up on it in an upcoming uh, new makeup release video once I know the date. Okay, next up is from the Waver Cosmetics. They're coming out with a whole new collection. It's a really beautiful collection, I will say. So this is the Melody collection and it is just, it's a graceful and delicate yet strong enough to withstand a total metamorphosis the butterfly is a powerful symbol of a transformation. Inspired by these winged beauty, celebrate a woman's ability to transform herself with lightness and ease. So this will include an eyeshadow palette which will retail for $26.50, five glosses which will retail for $19.50, I'm sorry, $15.80 each, a hand mirror which will retail for $16.80, and if you guys want the full set, it will retail for $80. So I'm going to definitely pass over the full set because I don't need all of these things. The eyeshadow palette I'll also pass over because these are just not the shade that I would gravitate towards to although they look very very beautiful and very graceful looking but I'll pass over that. The one thing I'm eyeing on is the hand mirror. I always wanted a hand mirror so I think I'll probably put that on my wish list because it does look stunning. I love the whole detailing and hand mirror and it looks beautiful. As for the lip glosses, I'll probably put maybe the first shade, I can't pronounce it, but the first shade looks more on, more on the nude side. I'll probably put that on my wish list, but other than that, everything else I'll pass over minus that shade of the lip shade and the hand mirror. Okay, next up is an exciting product from The Balm. So they're coming out with the Auto Balm collection. 
though so cute, I love the name though, it says it will include three palettes in the shape of a license plate and each will retail for $26.50. So these are available now on the bomb website. So the first one is the Day to Night, which is a which will have a black primer, two matte and five shimmer shadows that use wet or dry. And the second one is Pick Puff, which will have a neutral primer, two matte and five shimmer eyeshadows, again used wet or dry. And the last one is Girl Powder, which will have blush shades and highlighting toppers. And um, you can use it alone or over a blush. Okay, so first of all, I love the packaging. I love how the packaging is. It's so, so beautiful. I will probably pass over the eyeshadow palette, but I am pretty interested in the blush and highlighter palette. I think it's super super beautiful so i will probably put putting that on my wish list just because it looks stunning again i love the packaging and the price point for these palettes are not that bad so i'll probably be putting the uh blush palette in my wish on my wish list because it does look beautiful okay next up is from kylie cosmetics so she's dropping three new lip kit so the first one is bad little thing which is a red matte next one is extraordinary which is a hot pink and that's also a matte and then last one is mind the business which is a nude which is a velvet formula so this will be available today on the kylie website kylie cosmetic website you guys know i'm probably gravitating towards the bad little thing because it looks stunning you guys know i love my nudes so i will probably be putting this on my wish list i don't remember if i mentioned the price okay so there's no price range for this um if i do find the price range i'll find i'll put it in the description box but i will probably be putting i'm um, sorry not bad little thing um mind your business Mind your business is the one that I'm interested in, interested in, and then I'm eyeing on. I can't talk to it. I don't know why I'm studying. Yeah, I'm very interested in the Mind Your Business. I think it looks super stunning. I've never tried the lip kits from Kylie Cosmetics before, so I'm interested in trying that. Let me know if you guys have tried any of her lip formulas. Let me know in the comments down below. I would really love to hear from you guys. Okay, next up is an exciting release. I absolutely love this brand. I own the first Alamar Cosmetic eyeshadow palette so i already told you guys what i'm going to be talking about so this is a new release from alamar cosmetic this is available now i believe yes on the alamar cosmetic website so they're going to have the colorette blush trio which will retail for 22 dollars each they will also have lip glosses which will retail for 10 dollars each and then they're also having a gloss bundle which will retail for 32 dollars each and the collection bundle which will retail for 96 dollars each i absolutely love the eyeshadow palette from alamar cosmetic i also love their brushes i think their brushes are really really beautiful definitely interested in these products so the one blush shade that i'm interested in is probably the one that geared towards the medium tan shade or medium tan skin tone i think it looks super super pretty so all of them look beautiful uh, by the way so i'm really interested in the one that geared towards more towards the medium to tan skin tone. As for the lip glosses, very very interested in the very first shade and the more golden shade. I think they look stunning but the price point for these products are not that bad at all. Very very affordable and I again I love the formula from Alma Cosmetics. I'm excited that they're coming out with a blush palette and a lip product so very exciting. If you guys end up purchasing any of these products let me know in the comments down below. Okay last up is from Pharmacy Beauty. So I absolutely love Pharmacy Beauty. Pharmacy Beauty is probably one of my newfound favorite skincare brands. I love their Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Absolutely love that. So they are coming out with the Better Days Ahead. Days spelled D-A-Z-E. So this is a restorative cushion cream with full spectrum CBD hemp oil and adipogen. This says it's a silky soft and restorative moisturizer infused with non-psychoactive hemp derived CBD oil to help balance dry distressed skin. Including hemp seed oil, nourish skin with essential omega-6 plus omega-3 acid, calming CBD oil known as a natural anti-inflammatory, and the CBD oil helps soothe calm skin and reduce redness. There's no date on this and there's no price, so I'll keep you guys posted either in the description box or in my next new makeup release video but i am most definitely interested in this product i think this is super super cool and super exciting so i'll keep you guys posted on that 
and we'll let you guys know in my next new makeup release video or on the description box below but i love the packaging i love the whole claim to this so i'm excited to see whether or not i end up purchasing this but i'm really putting this on my wish list okay guys so that completes this new makeup release video slash will i buy it video let me know in the comments down below what products are you guys most excited for what products are you going to end up purchasing which of these are you going to pass over let me know in the comments down below i would really love to hear from you guys Thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. I love filming this for you guys. I love sharing new makeup releases with you guys. It's so exciting to hear all about the new makeup that's being released in this industry. It's so, so crazy and overwhelming. But it's exciting as well. So, again, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.